welcome back to Storytime with me, Miss Sherry, and I'm the Children's Librarian at the Montrose and Chevy Chase Branch Libraries. Today we're going to be sharing some books and songs, so please join in on all of our activities. So we are going to start out by welcoming some friends to Storytime, and let's see who do we have here. Our first friend is... Who's this? It's a squirrel! But this is not just any squirrel. It is a flying squirrel. That's right, a flying squirrel. And what sound does our squirrel make? Our squirrel says, chirp, chirp, chirp. All right, let's sing our song. We're here today, we're here today, here today for story time. We're here today, we're here today, here today for story time. Today at story time, we have a happy little squirrel. Today at story time, we have a happy little squirrel. The squirrel, it makes a sound like this, chirp, chirp. The squirrel, it makes a sound like this, chirp, chirp. We're here today, we're here today, here today for story time. We're here today, we're here today, here today for story time. Today at story time, we have a happy little wolf. Today at story time, we have a happy little wolf. The wolf, it makes a sound like this. Oh! The wolf, it makes a sound like this. Oh! We're here today, we're here today, here today for story time. We're here today, we're here today, here today for story time. Today at story time, we have a happy little bear. Today at story time, we have a happy little bear. The bear, it makes a sound like this growl, growl. The bear, it makes a sound like this growl, growl. We're here today, we're here today, here today for story time. We're here today, we're here today, here today for story time. Very good. So now that we've welcomed all our friends, how are you feeling today? Is anyone feeling happy? Can we sing, if you're happy and you know it? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Very good. So we are going to be sharing some books and songs today about the great outdoors, specifically hiking and camping, and some exploring as well. So we are gonna read our first book today, and it's called Dear Yeti by James Kwan. So in this story, we have two hikers and they are on a journey to find the very elusive, difficult to see Yeti. And let's see, what else do they have here? They've got a little notepad with some paper. Let's see what happens in our story. So there are hikers getting ready. We also have a little bird in our story and who's hiding over there on this end it's the yeti dear yeti we're searching for you sincerely the hikers there are the hikers right there and they're leaving their house but first what are they doing they're writing a letter and then whoosh, the little bird is taking the letter all the way to the Yeti. That's right. Dear Yeti, 
we're calling your name. You are one hard beast to find. We are wild but friendly men. You shouldn't be shy. Signed, the hikers. And there are the hikers there, sending their letter through the forest, over the river, to their friend, Yeti. Well, hopefully their friend. Dear Yeti, we found some tracks, poops, and hairs, so you must be close. We would really like to meet you. Sign, the hikers. And here are hikers. Let's see, can you follow the trail of their letter through their messenger bird to the Yeti? Dear Yeti, morale is high, but food supplies are low. Signed, the hikers. Oh no, what will they do? Dear Yeti, we found some berries. They were delicious. Were they from you? Where did those berries come from? Who's putting them there for the hikers to find? Dear Yeti, the forest is getting darker. The wind is howling loudly. We hope to see you soon. Sign, the hikers. Oh, and there's that letter again. Here's the Yeti. Dear Yeti, we found a snow cave to hide out from the storm. Are you safe and warm too? Signed, the hikers. Oh, look at that nice, cozy snow shelter. Let's see, who do you think made that shelter? Was it? The Yeti. Bird? Yeti? I think we're lost. Uh-oh. Can you find the hikers on the page? Where are the hikers? Over there. But there's no sight of the bird or the Yeti. Can you hear those spooky sounds? I hope it's not a grizzly bear. Wow, wow. Ah, a grizzly bear. <gasps> Please don't eat my new friends, says the Yeti. Oh. Thank you, Yeti. Oh, and what are those? All those bags of letters. It's late and we have to get back home. Can you help us find our way? What do you think? Will the Yeti help again? Oh, yes, he will. And there's the Yeti with the hikers on their way back home. Goodbye. Psst. Come look at this. Oh, they look so cozy in their home that little fire in the fireplace. Oh, it's a letter. What does the letter say? Dear hikers, see you soon. Love, Yeti. And that was the story of Dear Yeti, the story of some hikers who made a new friend. So our hikers traveled through the woods, over rivers, up mountains, and they were looking for a friend. <laughs> that reminds me of a song about an animal that climbed up a mountain to see what he could see. Does anyone remember what animal it was? It was a bear. The bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. 
But all that he could see, but all that he could see was the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain was all that he could see. Hmm. Well, the bear wasn't the only one on the mountain. Who else was there? We were there, the hikers. And we were very observant. So we saw a lot of different things. Let's see. We went over the mountain. We went over the mountain. We went over the mountain to see what we could see. And everything we saw, and everything we saw was a bear. A deer, a rabbit, a snake, a squirrel, a beaver, a raccoon, and a little mouse were all the friends we saw. <laughs> all right, very good. And so all of these animals here were in the woods. And what do you think we saw them doing? Let's see, what do these animals like to do? The bear in the woods goes growl, 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 growl. Growl, 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 the bear in the woods goes growl, growl, growl all day long. And what does the deer do? The deer finds a nice little bush and it goes munch, munch, munch. The deer in the woods goes munch, 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 munch. The deer in the woods go munch, munch, munch all day long. And what do the rabbits do? They go hop, hop, hop. The rabbits in the woods go hop, 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 hop. The rabbits in the woods go hop, hop, hop all day long. And what do the snakes do? The snakes in the woods go slither, slither, slither. Slither, 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 slither. The snakes in the woods go slither, slither, slither all day long. And what about the squirrel? What does the squirrel do? The squirrels all swish their tails. Can you make a little tail with your hand? The squirrels in the woods all swish their tails, swish their tails. Swish their tails, the squirrels in the woods all swish their tails all day long. And then what do the beavers do? The beavers are eating. And what are they eating? They are eating trees and grass. The beavers in the woods eat trees and grass. Trees and grass. Trees and grass. The beavers in the woods eat trees and grass all day long. And what about our raccoons? The raccoons are climbing. The raccoons in the woods climb up and down, up and down, up and down. The raccoons in the woods climb up and down all day long. And then last of all, what do our little mi mice do? The mice in the woods go squeak, 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 squeak. The mice in the woods go squeak, squeak, squeak all day long. <laughs> all right, very good. So we'll put these pieces away or all our animal friends and our mountain as well. And we're going to read our next story, which is called Duck Tents by Lynn Berry, illustrated by Hiroe Nakata. So we have our, how many? One, two, three, four, 
five ducks. And what are they sitting around? A nice campfire. And they have their tents. There's a pink one and a green one, a yellow one, a yellowish green one, and a red one, and a blue one. So, what happens in our duck story? Let's see. In a small backyard by a squat stone fence, five little ducks pitch five little tents. All five up, five proud ducks cheer. Ducks fill tents with camping gear. Lanterns, pillows, sleeping bags, fishing poles, brand new with tags. Five little ducks each grab one pole, hurry ducks to the fishing hole. Five little ducks in five straw hats tramp through the woods with chairs and mats. Ducks dig worms, ducks bake hooks, ducks flop down with snacks and bugs. To wait and wait and wait and wait. Is that a tug on one duck's bait? One duck yanks, two ducks lunge, three ducks lean, four ducks plunge, five ducks heave and five ducks haul, one duck slips, and four ducks sprawl. That is one stubborn fish. The pole goes zoom, the fish leaps high, we lost the big one. Five ducks cry. Shadows stretch through the moss-covered glade. Damp ducks shape and shake in the cool of the shade. Time for a campfire. Two ducks quack. Come on, ducks. Let's all head back. Five little ducks reel in four lines. Five little ducks tramp through the oaks and Pines. There they all go, back to their campsite. Campfire flames burn down to coals. Ducks roast marshmallows on their poles. Outside crispy, inside sticky, chewy, gooey, finger licky. Yum! <sighs> Five ducks sigh full of marshmallow goo. Five little ducks hear a hoo, hoo, hoo. Ducks all dive for their tents in a row, zip up tight and lie down low. Oh, they heard something that they thought was a little scary. Two little ducks poke out two beaks. One, two, I'm not scared, one little duck squeaks. I'm not scared, quack, two, three, four. The fifth little duck pretends to snore. Yet five little ducks can't help but hear sounds of the nighttime loud and clear. Hoo, hoo, hoo. One by one, four little ducks creep. Not scared now, ducks sigh and peep and snuggle up tight and drift to sleep. The end. So that was our story of duck tents. So in that story, the ducks came prepared with all their camping gear. So if you were going on a, maybe not a camp, a camping trip, but maybe a hiking trip, a shorter hiking trip, what would you need to bring? See, going on a hike, yeah, leaving right away. If it doesn't rain, we'll be okay. Did you bring your backpack? Yes, I brought my backpack. Did you bring your sunscreen? Yes, I brought my sunscreen. Did you bring your sunglasses? 
Yes, I brought my sunglasses. Did you bring your hat? Yes, I brought my hat. Did you bring your water? Gulp, gulp. Yes, I brought my water. Did you bring a snack? Yes, I brought a snack. Did you wear your hiking shoes? Yes, I wore my hiking shoes. Ready for a hike now, here we go. <laughs> All right, very good. So now we're going to read our last story. And this is a book about two friends that go on a hike, but instead of bringing things with them, they're taking things from their hike, which is not always a good idea. So this is the story of Take a Hike, Miles and Spike, and it's written by Travis Foster and Ethan Long. So our two friends that maybe have a lesson to learn about a few things when hiking. So there they are in the woods. And there's some other animals you can see. Can you spot them all? Can you name some of them? Take care, grizzly bear. What are they taking with them? Uh-oh, you got an ax. Stay loose, moose. What are they collecting? Trees, limbs. Bye-bye, butterfly. Ta-ta for now, cow. Cheerio, crow. They're taking the corn that they were eating. Smell you soon, raccoon. Peace out, rainbow trout. What else are they taking? The worms that they wanted to eat. We're out of here, dear. Can't stay, blue jay. In a shake, rattlesnake. They're taking all the berries. Goodbye, dragonfly. Farewell, gazelle. Gotta go, buffalo. Oh, they're packing everything they took away. Oh, but the other animals don't look too happy. the water, otter. Take a hike, Miles and Spike, say all the other animals. Oh, hmm. We acted dumb, chum. Let's try again, then. Want to go? Buffalo? What are they doing now? They're giving the corn to the buffalo. Let's head out, rainbow trout. Let's va moose, moose. Join the fun, everyone. Are we there yet, marmoset? What's a marmoset? And there are all the friends now sharing everything they have. The end. Uh, I think I'm a little lost. That's the marmoset. <laughs> and that was our story of Take a Hike, Miles and Spike. So it's important to remember that when you go out into the woods, that's where all the animals live. So you don't want to take things with you, except for maybe pictures and memories. All right, so now we've come to the end of our story time. And so it's time for us to sing our goodbye song. Bye, bye, we'll miss you. Bye, bye, we'll miss you. Bye, bye, we'll miss you. Hope you enjoyed a book or two. Goodbye, children.
goodbye. I'll see you next time.